We all know that the more parts we cut of various sizes from a single type of material like three quarter inch melamine, for example, the better uh, or the more efficient use of materials we'll have. In other words, we use materials more efficiently when we cut more parts from the same kind of material. What if there are a way in cabinet vision to batch several jobs together for reporting, bidding, and to run several jobs through the S2M Center. Stick around and I'll demonstrate how to batch jobs in Cabinet Vision in this episode of a Cabinet Vision Minute. Most of the features and functions in Cabinet Vision are focused on doing one job at a time. Uh, one recipient for that job, one delivery, uh, one set of cabinets, one uh, group of rooms under one job, etc. What if we wanted to go around that and group together several jobs? How do we how do we do that? It doesn't seem to be a way. There's no uh, utility. You know, what, what do we do? It's really quite easy. So I'm going to close this job under the main menu under file there is this utility called batch jobs. So I'm just going to walk through that. And it's just a simple dialog box and we add jobs. So I'm going to add this Smith job. And I'm going to add another job. Let's find one. Okay, and note that there are two jobs here. The Smith job is first, and then the Dolohanty job is second uh, in this list. And what we're going to notice is that when we run reports later, this whatever the first job that you have listed here is going to uh, is going to kind of dominate what happens from here on out. It may take a few minutes for Cabinet Vision to combine these two jobs into what I'm going to call a pseudo job. Okay, now notice that now this is not, uh, we don't have any, uh, we don't have some of the features that we had before uh, in Cabinet Vision showing up on the tabs up here. So in other words, we don't have room and elevations and plan views anymore. All we have is three features, the bid center, the report center and the S2M center. So this is where the limits of our functionality um, is uh, restricted to. But on the other hand, we probably wouldn't want to uh, combine any of the other features. So this is a good thing. Uh, for the purposes of the bid center, it, in fact, it's going to go right to the bid center. And remember that in the dialog box that I pointed out to you, when we select the jobs that we want to batch together, um, the Smith job was the first in the list. So here in this uh, uh, bid center, uh, I'm going to call it report, but it's um, it's like the, the the front screen, the main screen of the bid center. Uh, it is assuming that this job is going to be called Smith, and it doesn't make any reference to the second job in our list. Uh, or the third or fourth or fifth jobs in the list had we added a third, fourth or fifth job. All the features of the bid center do work um, with the exception of the reports, which may kind of, uh, they, they don't, they don't work, they don't set up correctly like they would if this were just for a single customer. So um, I would uh, kind of shy away from any report that might otherwise be only focused on a single customer or a single job. So this might be handy for grouping together some uh, reports, uh, just just the simple reports. In other words, this batch of cabinets is going to be 88.47 lineal feet of bases, but it doesn't break out uh, the, the jobs that you have included in here. Uh, so this is just a, a combination 
of all the all the jobs that you add in this batch. Under the report center, all the reports still work as good as you might expect. Uh, but let's take a, a door list, for example. And so it does break out all of the doors uh, that we would expect to see uh, in any job combined or single job. The cabinet numbers uh, are still there. The report center does give us some pretty good reports. And, and I want to draw your attention to the filter for a moment. In the filter, it does refer to the Smith job, for example, and the Dolahanty job, and it does break those out. However, in the reports themselves, it does give us the names Smith and Dolohanty, but on a per line item basis, it does not break any of these out for on a per line item basis. So keep that in mind as you're as you're running through the report list. And in the S2M Center, it's the same thing. You can combine uh, all the jo this job or these two jobs are combined into one. In the S2M Center, these two jobs are also combined into one with all the features and functionality uh, in the S2M Center. I'm not going to open that right here, but uh, just remember that the Bid Center, the Report Center, and the S2M Center give you the benefits of, of combining jobs in one batch. <music>